The next question has come from Cat Z Books. So the next question is, do you have a favourite genre when it comes to books? And the answer is yes and no. I read very widely and I like to sample all kinds of different genres and I don't um, set myself kind of one area that I most like to read from. I'll try anything. I've got very eclectic tastes. Some of my favourites would be uh, fantasy, sci-fi and fantasy, um, and then kind of literary fiction, which isn't, you know, really a genre probably, and uh, classics. I'm a big fan of classics as well. Um, but basically I'll try anything. The next question is what is your favourite book of all time and that is such a hard question to answer because there are just so many but the book that I generally say if I am you know my arm is twisted to pick an all-time favourite would be The Lord of the Rings by J.R. Tolkien. I absolutely love The Lord of the Rings it's just such an epic story and I absolutely love it but even then it's really really hard to call this favourite book of all time because and so the next part to that is favourite author and uh, as I said earlier obviously Tolkien to go with that and Julian Rillier is another big one and probably if I had to narrow it right right down they would be my two favourites but in general I can bring it to five fairly comfortably there are definitely more books and more authors that I love absolutely love beyond these five but I'm fairly comfortable with saying a list of five favourite authors and so those authors are J.R. Tolkien, Juliet Merlia, Agatha Christie, Douglas Adams and Jasper Ford. And the next question is do you ever read graphic novels or YA and if so what is your favourite out of each of those categories? And uh, not so much graphic novels is something I'm getting a little bit more into but I've only been reading kind of the stereotypical uh, booktube favourites so out of that my favourite would definitely be the Saga series by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples that is absolutely epic and I am loving it. YA is something that I go through stages of reading and I kind of read some YA and then not so much anymore. But my favourite would be a book that I first read when I was 10 and that is the first book in the Tomorrow series by John Marsden, Tomorrow When the War Began. It is absolutely amazing. John Marsden I've spoken about before, he's an Australian author and I love him. The next questions come from Lil from Lil's Vintage World and the first question is what are your favourite books? And as I said, completely impossible to narrow down. So basically everything by the five favourite authors that are kind of listed in the last round of questions. Um, Lord of the Rings, if I'm forced to say a favourite favourite. But some other things that I absolutely love that aren't part of my favourite authors list there because I've maybe only read um, one or two of their works um, would be things like The Godfather by Mario Puzo. I absolutely love that novel. I really really love John Wyndham so my favourite of his is The Day of the Triffids. I absolutely love A Fine Balance by Rohingya Mystery. I thought that was just so amazing and so heartbreaking and heartwarming and funny and tragic and amazing all rolled into one. And the last one I'll choose for that is uh, I absolutely adore Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winfred Watson. It just makes me smile so much and I adore that one so there are a few books that I absolutely love that didn't get a look in with my favourite authors. The next question is when did you start reading Agatha Christie because Lil is a fellow Agatha Christie lover and I think uh, the first one I read would have been around age 11 I believe. I certainly have very vivid memories of doing a book review of one of her books in year 7 when I was 12 and I don't think I just read it, I think I'd read it kind of previous to that and chose that one because it was something that I loved and I've been reading it ever since and I love her. And our last question is can I adopt your cat? And the answer to that is no. She's my cat. Aren't you? Yeah. The next question comes from Annie McKinney and he asks what are your favourite Australian novels and can you recommend any good books on Australian history? A lot of my favourite Australian books are kids books. I grew up a lot of Australian kids literature I have read some Australian novels as an adult but for the most part the ones that stick out to me are kind of Australian children's classics. That being said my favourite Australian adult author would be Juliet Millia, uh, although she's technically from New Zealand, she's Australian now um, and she writes historical fantasy that's set in and around kind of Ireland and Britain um, so not so much Australiana. For something that's set quite close to where I live I like Kerry Greenwood and her Friday Fisher series which is set in and around 1920s Melbourne so quite a lot of the place names in those ones are things that I recognise so I really enjoyed that. There's some definite Australian authors that I need to read more of. I have read Cloud Street by Tim Winton and I just really enjoy it but I wouldn't necessarily say he's one of my favourites although The Buglugs Bum Thief by him is phenomenal. 
But that's going back to kids' literature and has taken a complete turn. But The Bugalug's Bum Thief is a children's book that Tim Whitten writes, which is completely different from anything he's done as an adult, but is about a town called Bugalugs, and the residents of Bugalugs wake up one day to find that their bottoms have been stolen. And what's not to like about that? And for the second part of that question, I don't really have any books uh, that I'd recommend about Australian history because it's not something that I've read about and that's probably a really bad thing. I'm not the hugest of non-fiction readers, so unfortunately I can't actually recommend anything on Australian history, which is probably a big failing on my part. The next question comes from Rachel61, and this is obviously a case of autocorrect, but I'm going to be cheeky and take it as what it actually says. Who is your favourite author? And what book got you liking that author? So obviously that's meant to be who is your favourite author, but because I've spoken about favourite authors before, that part of the question's already been answered, so I'm going to answer the question, who is my favourite author? So my favourite author author would be Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, who is the author, of course, of the Sherlock Holmes novels, but the book that got me liking that author, the first one of his that I read was actually not a Sherlock Holmes, it was The Lost World, which is uh, the first in his Professor Challenger series, and I've not read any further books in that series at this point either, but um, it is about an expedition to South America kind of looking for dinosaurs and it is so good. I, I don't know what it was about it, I just completely loved it. So I thought it was interesting that I came to Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, obviously being aware of Sherlock Holmes, but not reading that by him first. So that is my favourite Arthur. Next I got an absolutely epic list of questions from Erica from Erica Rayable and Erica seriously you are the best. The first question is, you're stranded on an island and can only bring one book series with you, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings. Which do you choose? <sighs> oh, my first instinct is to say Lord of the Rings, so I'm going to go with that. When I start thinking about it further, the doubts start creeping in, of course, as they do, but my gut reaction is Lord of the Rings, so I'm not going to question it too much and say I'm taking Lord of the Rings with me. The next question is, do you speak any languages other than English and un peu français? But not really. So I studied French in high school but I only took the two years that were compulsory and then I gave it up. So I've got two years high school education in French which is very very basic and I've probably forgotten most of it except for I can say un peu. In primary school we studied Italian so I've got six years of primary school education in Italian which basically means that I can count to 19? I've forgotten what 20 is. Uh, and I can sing a few little songs in Italian and I've got a few colours and, and uh, animal names and things like that um, in Italian but basically no I can't speak that either. And then my mother's heritage is Dutch so I can count to 13 in Dutch and again I can sing a couple little songs but I'm sure my pronunciation is atrocious but they're just little songs that my uh, Oma taught us as children. Um, so I've got that kind of thing, but basically that's a long way of saying no I don't speak any other language other than English. And so the follow-up question to that one is, if you could choose to learn one language instantly without having to study it, what would it be? So my first thought to that one was to be able to speak French. Uh, sometimes I wish I had it continued on, but the element of kind of public speaking that comes with studying French didn't really appeal at the time, and so I gave it up. Um, but I just thought I would actually like to speak uh, Dutch, I think, for my mother's heritage to be able to uh, to know more about that I think would be fantastic. So, hmm, I think I'd go with Dutch. Next question is, other than Penguin, because we already know you adore Crowley Vickwood Smith, who is your favourite publisher? And yes, obviously my adoration of all the Crowley Vickwood Smith designs has been greatly uh, documented on this channel. I do love Penguin outside of Crowley Vickwood Smith. I think all of their designs are so beautiful, they've got so many amazing books and I could just go broke buying everything that Penguin puts out because they are amazing. I also love Puffin which is kind of the uh, children's version of Penguin and they've got some amazing Puffin editions of things uh, so I absolutely love them. But outside of anything Penguin I think maybe uh, Harper or HarperCollins um, they do the Agatha Christie editions that I have, they also do uh, both sets of J.R. Tolkien's uh, Lord of the Rings books that we have uh, and quite a few other books I've got on my shelves uh, published by Harper, either Harper Collins or Harper Voyager or one of their kind of sister Jews. Um, so I think maybe they're one of my next favourites. But yeah, definitely Penguin in the number one position. 